I said 216. You bastard. Ooh. What? Ooh. I said 214. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> well, I mean, none of you guys are really close at all, actually. <laughs> Oh, this is Magnet. That's pretty cool. That's hey, you know what else is pretty cool? Welcome back to another episode of Stan versus Normie. We're filming? <laughs> I'm Norman. <laughs> yeah, we we have included everything either. that happened before this. <laughs> include everything. It's all very important. <laughs> this is the show where we have a Stan test us, the Normies, about a subject we maybe don't know too much about, and we see if we have what it takes to become the Stan of the subject. Today's subject is Nickelodeon. <laughs> And our stand that we have today to test us with all things Nickelodeon is Mac from Mac Does It! Yay. 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 <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for helping us today, Mac. Yes, I'm excited. Do you guys know anything about Nickelodeon? Sp SpongeBob. I'm gonna do really well with the cartoons. Okay. Did not do the live action stuff. <laughs> okay, well, you're probably gonna be bad at this. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Because Nickelodeon didn't become cartoons until like the 2000s. Oh, you really? know, it was all wow. live action back in the day. Oh, learning so much already. Mm -hmm. Learning oh, no. so much. In the past 10 years, I think I've guest starred on more Nickelodeon shows than I've watched. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, I haven't watched any Nickelodeon shows, um, and I so I know the episodes that I guest starred on. But other than that, I have not seen a like I haven't seen a single episode of Henry Danger. I've been a fan of Nickelodeon since I was a child, but literally over quarantine, all I did was watch like documentaries and shows of Nickelodeon and all that stuff. Yes. So I know like a weird amount of Nickelodeon trivia for no reason. I heard a lot. That's why I'm here. Yes! <laughs> Before we get started, now be sure to like and subscribe. We've done other things like this before. You, got, you gotta go, we gotta like and subscribe so you know when we do future stuff like this. Shall we do this? The first round is called Beyond the Slime. Ooh! Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it's based about celebrities mm -hmm. who got their start on Nickelodeon. Okay, oh, okay. No. okay. Fair, fair. Okay. Um, <laughs> what adult variety sketch show is SpongeBob voice actor Tom Kenny also known for? Okay, okay. Damien, let's start with you. I'm young. I would love to, Mac. Thank you very much for your time today. <laughs> Tom Kenny is known for Mr. Show with Bob and David. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, then I'm wrong. I, I, I just guessed I said Mad TV. Just one of those where I'm like, could be right. Yeah, I only know two. It's SNL and Mad TV, and it's not SNL, so I'm Mad TV, you gotta be. <laughs> Mr. Show? Yeah, because we were just talking about Bob Odenkirk. Oh, no. You know when he goes, ah, my little women, <laughs> in the middle of that otherwise very poignant film. <laughs> well, by the tones of everyone's voices, I think you can tell who was correct. <laughs> Damien gets a point, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. That's <laughs> impressive. Oh, this is my favorite question. Okay, <clears throat> this one's about money. <laughs> yeah. We love money. We love money here. But during their run on Nickelodeon, who reportedly became one of the highest paid TV act child actors in history? It's multiple choice. A, Kiki Palmer, B, Miranda Cosgrove, C, Emma Roberts, D, Melissa Joan Hart, or E, Ariana Grande? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Shane, let's go with you first. So I, I'm overthinking this for sure. Okay. Because the answer it would I would think would be Miranda Cosgrove. But I'm like, I feel like it's a trick, so I'm saying Victoria Justice. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't one of the choice. <laughs> <laughs> Am I totally, but I like, just hey. lost. But hey, this is a real trick question. It's going, off, going secret <laughs> menu on this. You don't this. know what money she's making, you know. <laughs> Wait, what were the Okay, I'm gonna go with Miranda Cosgrove then. <laughs> How about you, Kimmy? Okay, so I, I think it's C, but I said Emma Roberts, because nepotism representation, you know, she's gotta have that, those good reps from who her family is <laughs> yes, represented yeah, by. Absolutely. So, she, everyone. Julia oh, Roberts, Julia Roberts. Miss Sex in the City. Oh yeah. my yeah. god. Yeah, Dude, so. Did that not occur to you? Aunt? No. Her aunt, but then yeah. her dad is also. Something Roberts. <laughs> well, Another big actor that I totally pirate. know. Yeah. You guys are both gonna feel silly when it's Victoria Justice. <laughs> okay, Damien. Thank you, Mac. My answer is B, Miranda Cosgrove. <laughs> At first, I thought Melissa Joan Hart, but like the 90s, but like that's different. I don't know. I feel like child actors now are not treated so hot. 90s was probably like, huh. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you are correct. It is Woo! Miranda Cosgrove. Oh, yes. Nice. Emma Roberts Miranda. has the biggest net worth. So oh. you're gonna say no oh. and stars. Ah, okay. But um, if you go, I would do a bonus actually. Do you guys want to guess how much she made per episode? Miranda? Yeah, Miranda Cosgrove. Oh, this feels like okay, oh, this feels like too much. I put one hundred fifty-two thousand dollars. 
<laughs> okay, okay, Shane. Well, I put around 200. It probably is higher than that. It okay. certainly could be. Okay, Kimmy. I think I went too high. <laughs> well, okay, so Big Bang Theory people made like a million an episode, right. so I um, said like 600K. Okay, <laughs> wow. Friends, wow. Wow. <laughs> the answer is 180,000 per episode. Wow. So Shane, you are the winner. I, you get that point. Thank you. Good job. That's thank a lot you. of money, you know? You have to understand. So it's much a lot of money. money. They were child actors, so of course they weren't getting paid 600,000. Hey, that's still, <laughs> so. that's still just a little bit more than half of the Big Bang Theory people. Yeah. Miranda Cosgrove <laughs> did the work. Yes, she did. She deserved it, every penny. She deserved it. Okay, and that is the end of round one. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You survived. Okay, okay. Yeah. so round two is called Nick by the Numbers. Oh, numbers. You love some numbers, right? Really, my strong suit. Basically, you're just going to guess the number and whoever comes the closest wins. Cool. Okay. How many shows have aired on Nickelodeon since it launched in 1979? What? <laughs> oh, we don't even Easy get like a, we don't even get like a ballpark here. Easy. Oh, we don't even get like a multiple choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 1979. Really? 1979. Yes. <laughs> wow, that's so weird to think about. I mean, like, okay, technically it started in 1977, but it was called Pinwheel, but then it rebranded cool. to Nickelodeon in 1979. Oh my God. It's like that Dark Souls boss. You know Pinwheel? Yeah. The bottom of the catacombs? Oh, yeah. My numbers are so high. That's yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> okay, Kimmy, what's oh, yeah, your for answer? Sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, I, I went with, I was, I was going to say 331st, and then I changed it because I learned from my mistakes, and it's 180. <laughs> Definitely one. Okay, okay, Shane. So I think I'm in my head with this. I'm thinking like pilots that maybe like that technically would that count? Like if they had an, one episode of a show and it like oh it didn't work and so they stopped. So I'm like over the years it could be a lot. I said 216. You bastard. Ooh. What? Ooh. I said 214. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean none of you guys are really close at all, actually. No, <laughs> I mean, Shane is technically the closest no, then. Is, is, is it like, it's probably in the 800s or something? It is 611. If I did 330, <laughs> my, my, problem is, my problem is, yeah, I was like, am I thinking of shows that like ran, like mm -hmm. for a season or more? Or are you thinking of just like, when it comes to pilots, mm -hmm. man, there's hundreds of shows every year because of so many that don't get pilots up. and there's syndicated shows that aired on Nickelodeon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think no one deserves a point for this round, actually. <laughs> I think guys are way too far. So what was it again? I'm so sorry. 611. That is insanity. Okay, next question. <laughs> Without going over, how many current sister channels does Nickelodeon have? And I'll give you a bonus if you can name them. Oh my God. Kimmy, what's your answer? Oh, it's definitely, it's de I'm definitely sure about this. Definitely three. And I, I think Cartoon Network is one of them, Nick Jr., and then the Nick's version of Disney XD. <laughs> Nick has, Yummy, Nick yes, has I know that, yeah. They have to compete. <laughs> three. Um, I, I'm saying two. Uh, Noggin is, I believe, the name of the, the channel that is like Degrassi and stuff. I think, I think it Noggin. became the end, but yes. Uh, are we, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm saying two because I think there's maybe one other that I'm not thinking of. <laughs> like, okay. uh, that I've never heard of. Um, so I'm just throwing two out there. But I know, no, I believe they're the end or whatever. Yeah. This one. Um, I wrote four. Um, there's Noggin, there's the Nicktoons channel, uh, Teen Nick. And then uh, Nick Two Reloaded, which is also known as Nick Junior. <laughs> <laughs> two Nick Two Furious. Yes, <laughs> Nick Fury. <laughs> well, Damien is the closest. Wow. wow. The answer is five. Wow. And technically, um, didn't Teen Nick turn into um, no Noggin turn into the end, which turned into Teen Nick? That's what I was. That's oh, what I was saying. Same answer. Same answer. I feel yeah. old now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What? Like they still yeah, call it that, up. right? <laughs> You kids are watching. Are you kids watching Noggin? Yeah. Um, put something on the old Victrola. Hand me your iPad. No. There's a peculiar thing. Okay, and the five are Nick Tunes, Nick Jr., Teen Nick, Nick Rewind, and TV Land. TV, TV Land. Land. Oh, TV TV Land. Land. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. so Kimmy, you got one point. Well, what about Nick's version of Disney XD? <laughs> what would be Nick's version of Disney XD? I'm Teen Nick. I don't know. <laughs> to the teens. And I guess Shane, you got a point as well. <laughs> Noggin is there. It's, yeah. in, it's in the premises. And then you get one, two, and then three for getting it right. Yeah, three. Yeah, three points. Three All points for Damien. Uh, next question. As of today, mm -hmm. when this is being filmed, because we don't know what's going to happen, how many episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants have aired on Nickelodeon? Oh my god. How, can we know what year it started? 
It started in 1999. And we can't go over? Sure, you can. Whoever's closest. All right, I'm going big. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> go, ahead, mm. go big or go home. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna swap it to a different thing. There we actually, go. yeah, hold on. Yeah, actually, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm gonna, um... <laughs> I'm not changing. I'm staying. Okay, Kimmy, let's I'm, see your certain I'm, answer. I've been here. <laughs> I'm staying. And it's for sure a thousand. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, Shane. I think I went over, but I'm gonna guess 280. Okay, Damien? I think I went under, but I'm gonna guess 184. <laughs> okay. Um, Shane, you're the closest. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was what was it? The answer is two hundred and forty-eight. Oh wow, that's crazy. You mean a thousand? <laughs> yeah, I mean a thousand <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this round is called in the snick of time. Oh, Ooh, into the snick of it. One single point for each correct answer. Okay. Okay. Debuted on August 15, nineteen ninety-two. The initial original snick lineup featured which four shows? Oh boy. <laughs> Just think think of like OG Nickelodeon, mm -hmm. basically. What what started the '90s explosion? <laughs> What's been around for that long? <laughs> it's an easy easy question, you know. Very easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. when I was one. Okay, Damien, what's your answer? <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Um, my answers are the Adventures of Pete and Pete, <laughs> all that. Keenan and Kel, Yummy. and then the Rugrats. Delicious. <laughs> Shane. I went with all that. I went with Double Dare, Hidden Temple, and Ren and Stimpy. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kimmy. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have it for sure. I have it for sure. One is Nick. It is all that. Uh, two is Nick's version of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Okay. <laughs> Three is SpongeBob the prequel. Okay. Oh. Four is Nick, comma, an origin story. Oh. <laughs> Didn't they just, I think they just came out with a Spongebob prequel show too, actually. Yeah. yeah. What if they literally had like, here's Nick's version of Mickey's clubhouse. I don't know, it's some sick rat. It's covered in goo. Oh I'm Nicholas the rat. Only person that gets a single point is Shane. What? <laughs> I got one of with them. With Ren and Stimpy. Oh, wow. Nice. What? Hidden Templeton's, what? what about Are You Afraid of the Dark? Was that one? Yes, that was. Oh, yes. no! Oh, no! 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 Yes! But the, the answers were Clarissa explains it all. Oh my god. Oh. The Ram and Stimpy show, Roundhouse, and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Mm. Dang it! What is Roundhouse? I, was, I almost I was, could have won. I was hoping you were gonna get that. I feel like that was like the most iconic show I just, in the '90s. I know. I, that's another show that I thought started later than 1992. Like, ah, uh, well, you thought wrong, Shane. Damn it! Yeah. So Shane and Damien are actually tied right now. Yeah. Wrestling. Ooh. Isn't it amazing that a, cart a Nick cartoon show got me a point to tie with you? That's crazy, Shane. So we have a tiebreaker for you guys, yeah. okay? <clears throat> Are you ready? Yes. Kimmy, you can participate too. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Before being replaced by Teen Nick, what were the last four shows of the SNCC lineup in the spring summer of 2001? 2001. Kimmy, let's start with you. Okay. I'll go first, because yeah, there's a little no practice. Okay, yeah. so is, uh, is all that. Amanda Bias Show, SpongeBob, Keenan and Kel. And for a bonus point, SpongeBob the prequel. <laughs> I stand by it. Yummy. I stand by it. Yeah. Okay, Shane. <laughs> I, I, my answer is so all over the place, I know I'm wrong. I did Rugrats All Grown Up, uh, Rocket Power, all that, and The Real Monsters, which I think was even done by that time. So I'm, I know I'm wrong. So. <laughs> Real Monsters is like 93 to 96. Of yeah. It. it all comes down to this. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Um, <laughs> my answers are all that, Are You Afraid of the Dark, The Amanda Show, and As Told by Ginger. Uh, As Told by Ginger, I was trying to think of that, but then I was like, was that show on Disney or Nickelodeon? Mm. In my head, I couldn't remember. You know what's so funny? Someone once told me the grass God is damn it! <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> okay, uh, it's funny because technically Kimmy got the most right, but <laughs> you're losing. So, so it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Damien, yeah, you got the most. Oh! You got two. <laughs> with, uh, with the Amanda Show and all that, you got two. Um, the answers were SpongeBob SquarePants, The Amanda Show, The Brothers Garcia, and all that. I almost wrote The Brothers Garcia. But then I didn't. I've never even heard of that show. So, Damon Hodds, you are the winner yeah! of this Nickelodeon trivia.
And there was no Nicktoons. There was no Nicktoons. <laughs> I've never even heard of an iCarly, and I still got this. <laughs> give me my blimp. Give me my blimp toy that you can look through. <laughs> give me my slime. Matt, no, what, thank you. What is your favorite Nickelodeon show of all time? Avatar: The Last Airbender. <gasps> that is. Uh, nice. uh, I don't even so consider that a Nickelodeon good. show. That, like that show so... just that show exists uh, like yeah. in a plane above all. I'm it almost really done with Korra right now. I'm almost. I think it's the best. Time. I think it's the best show of all time. Like mm -hmm. you could argue that it's the Last Airbender is the per most concise show ever made. Mac, where can we yeah. find you? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, so guys, you can find me anywhere. Please. If you search Mac, does that's M A C D. Oh, E S I T. <laughs> you made fun of me for misspelling Ariana Grande. You don't even know your own channel. Well, guys, that was so much fun. Uh, congratulations, Damien. Good, Thank good, you, Kimmy. Good, good game. I appreciate good it. This game. was a lot of fun. Good job being a normie. The real congratulations goes to Mac good for dealing job, with us. Mac. Yes. Thank you so much, Mac. I hope you guys learned more about Nickelodeon today. I hope I they do too. I feel like I did. I really did. And, like, guys, comment below if you want to see us do another version of this where we can learn more about something we know currently nothing about. Do you want to you want to see SpongeBob the prequel turn into a musical? Comment that too. I'll do it. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll figure it out. She'll do it, it unless you wire unless her five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, and also, guys, we have a couple videos ready to go for you. Like, so if you want to see maybe another Stanford Stormies, I don't know what the heck is there. Go ahead and click it. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. I don't know. Back, pure joy. <laughs> Thank you.